Hello! In this video, I would like to talk about some of the laws of probability. Now, if you have taken a course on probability before, this video might be a quick, helpful review for you. On the other hand, if you have never learned about probability before this course, this video may be a bit fast for you and you may not be quite sure how to use these laws in actual problems after viewing it once here. In that case, don't worry, because we will keep reviewing these concepts as we go along throughout the course. So far, the only law that we have discussed is the one that states that probabilities must be values between 0 and 1. The first new rule that I want to talk about deals with the probability of event A not happening. For example, if I tell you that the probability of it raining tomorrow is 30% or 0.3, what is the probability that it won't rain tomorrow? Well, it would be easy to figure out that this probability would be 0.7, right? This demonstrates the rule that states that probability of event A not happening is simply 1 minus the probability of event A. Now, we have two rules so far. The one just mentioned and the fact that probabilities must be between 0 and 1. Rule 3 deals with many practical situations wherein we have to combine events. So let's say, for example, I have an airplane that has two engines, A and B. The plane can still fly if only one of the engines is working. In this situation, let's say we are interested in the probability of the plane working properly. So we are interested in the probability of engine A or engine B working. In other situations, we are interested in the probability of event A and event B. For example, consider the same plane where event G is the event that the plane is in good condition and event P is the event that the pilot arrives on time. So in that case, we are interested in two conditions which both must be satisfied. So we are interested in the probability of event G and event P. In both of these situations, we are combining events in one way or another. A general formula that is useful here is the probability of A or B is always equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. A Venn diagram is very helpful in explaining this concept. Say this is event A and this is event B. If we are looking for A or B, the overlapping part is A and B, which is added twice. So we subtract it from the formula to make sure we only obtain the probability of A or B. Now I would like to talk about the concept of mutually exclusive or disjoint events. This means that the events cannot happen at the same time. Consider this. There is an election and there are two candidates A and B. If candidate A wins, candidate B cannot win. So we can say that these two events are mutually exclusive or disjoint. Therefore, the probability of A and B is zero because this outcome is impossible. Looking back at our formula, this means that the probability of A or B is simply the probability of A plus the probability of B. In this video, I have discussed three rules of probability. We will see how to use these rules as we go through practical examples throughout the course. To summarize, these are the rules. 1. Probabilities must be a value between 0 and 1. 2. Probability of not A is 1 minus the probability of A. 3. The probability of A or B is the probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Or, in the case of mutually exclusive or disjoint events, the probability of A and B is zero, so the probability of A or B is simply the probability of A plus the probability of B. Thank you for watching.